What the heck are we doing here, Lanny? In this beautiful sunny day? Well, we're going to try to charge our phone with a solar panel. Uh, it's these little guys here. Now, I'm not actually going to charge my phone because I'm holding my phone, but I got one of these little power banks and it's got a little LED light, so it should tell us. So, yeah, that's all we're going to do. Easy peasy. Yeah, I keep seeing that video floating around where the guy's sticking a 9 volt battery to one of these to charge a phone. Realistically, who's got a 9 volt battery nowadays? Like I do to hook up to our Arduino boards, but <laughs> that's like the only reason I got them. So, I figure everybody's got one of these, and almost everybody can afford one of these nowadays. Like, I got this one at a pawn shop for 20 bucks, and this one was 20 bucks brand new at Canadian Tire. So, let's give it a go. Pretty sure it should work. And it's basically just a 12 volt adapter in your car, right? I just don't know which is positive and which is negative. I'm gonna assume this is positive. Oh, this might be a hard one to do. All right, so it would appear that this end is the positive and this end is the negative, and it was just a matter of getting that prong to touch properly. And as you can see, our little LED is on the hip street. So, in theory, Try to get this case off. Yeah, to open these bad boys, you just get something in there, pry it, and then you gotta just like rip it, rip the clips out. And as you can see, basically all that's in there is a laptop battery is what that is and a little uh, 5 volt to 3 volt conversion so in theory now we should be able to see that LED because it's just a little tiny guy and the sun is a big mean scary thing today that's why I thought I better do this quick I've been meaning to do this for a while but well, and then it is charging. So there you go. Survival situation. You're good to go this way. So yeah, buy a couple of these cheap things wherever you can and worst comes to shove, you'll be able to make a phone call. Here, let's plug it in my phone. So we'll Alright, so as you can see, I got the little one hooked up. And it's enough to turn this on, but it will not charge the power pack. It did, however, charge my phone. But I had to, like, make sure it was pointed directly at the sun. So yeah, I'm definitely, if you have the opportunity, get the 6 watt panel for sure, just because, like this panel's okay, but, it's pretty weak, and compared to this guy. You can do quite a lot with 6 watts. Uh, you, you can't do very much with with 2.5 though. Like if you look, it's basically just three of these in series. In a parallel circuit, the voltage across each of the components is the same. And the total current is the sum of the currents through each component. 
AKA, it was a parallel circuit. So, yeah. Hmm. So, as you can see, it is quite overcast. So I thought we'd give it a go on an overcast day. So, it's reading about 20. So, I grabbed a different power pack. As you can see, it's a different battery inside than the other one. Because that one's probably fully charged by now. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Doesn't seem to be. It is charging that. Like, that is on. But it's definitely just a little bit of cloud made it not work. See, it's reading at 6 volts now. Maybe that battery is just fully charged. I do try to keep these charged. Yeah, and it refuses to charge my phone too, so. It just seems like it is not enough current today. So we can test the current. That's pretty low. <laughs> Barely run an LED with that. <laughs> All right. It's pretty cloudy though. Like I can't even see a trace of the sun. So. So yeah, just use your solar panel, hook up your positive and your negative lead to your 12 volt to 5 volt conversion, and hook that up to your phone or your little battery pack and you're good to go. Good to meow. Meow. Good to meow. Meow, 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 meow. So yeah, I hope you found that informative. Maybe it saves a life. Maybe it'll encourage somebody to be fancier. Oh yes, that's a good kitty.